Hey what's up guys my name is Pavinder from PNP Tutorials and you're watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are basically going to talk about how we can create a COVID tracker using the Raspberry Pi 4. So what is basically the COVID tracker? COVID tracker is basically a web application that is developed in the spring and this is basically using a REST API and that REST API is already developed. So what I have done here is I've actually created a spring controller and from that controller I am actually hitting the ready-made API. Then after hitting the API I am actually getting the data and that data is actually visible on the HTML pages. So that was everything about the web application. Now I have actually pushed that code into the GitHub. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take the pull request from the GitHub into my IntelliJ and then I will create the var file from that code. I've created one folder on the desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on open and open that folder. And after that I will clone that repository. So for cloning that repository, I will just enter into my IntelliJ terminal. So from here, I will simply clone that repository. It will take some time. Now let's open the project again. And let's go inside this new folder and then click on COVID Tracker 2020. And just open in the same window. And this is basically a Maven project. So simply click on enable automatically, which means it will resolve all the dependencies that are present in pom.xml file automatically. Now here we need to change the API key and API key you can get it from rapidapi.com. So this is the API that we are using COVID-19 data and for getting the API code you will have to simply sign up on this portal and after that they will ask you the card details and this API is free up to the certain limit. Say for example, if you are hitting 50,000 times in a day, then this API is free. Otherwise they will charge some money. You can see their pricing details here. So I have my API token and I will put that API token in here. This is not the actual API token. I will put that API token here. And after that, what we have to do is we need to click on build and build project. And as soon as we will click on this build project, it will start making the var file into the out directory of our desktop. So if you can just click on this new folder and COVID tracker, it will start making a file into the out directory artifacts COVID-19 spring var exploded. So here you can see this is the var file and we need to deploy this var file onto a Raspberry Pi. I have Raspberry Pi 4 model B and its IP address is 192.168.1.21 and that Raspberry Pi is running with the Raspbian operating system. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the Apache Tomcat over my Raspberry Pi and, and in order to install that I will have to access the shell of my Raspberry Pi. I'll enter the password that I have used while the installation and then we will make the use of a command called apt install tomcat. Now let's go inside a directory where the web application will be hosted. From here we will actually go inside a directory called web apps. Now here we need to place our var file. I have removed everything inside this folder. Now I will copy that var file that I have generated from the IntelliJ into this folder. And that var file is actually available in the temp directory. And I have transferred this file using the WinSCP. And as soon as I will put that var file here, it will start decompressing that file. Now what I will do is I will turn on the service of Tomcat 9. And for that, I will simply type in a command called sudo service Tomcat 9 start. Now the Tomcat is up and we can go on our browser. I hope our application should be deployed properly. And there you can see guys, here we have our application up and running. Now here you will see two buttons. First is the country wise data. So if you just click on that country wise data, I'm not a great HTML or CSS designer. You can say that. So uh, I will simply put in the name of the country here. And as soon as I will click on submit it, it will show me the data of all the patients. It will show me the data of all the COVID patients. And here you can see guys in India, there are 8,504 confirmed cases with recovered in 972 and this is the format you will be able to see the data in and let's go back and we will actually check out the another 
thing and that thing is the world data so this is the second api that we have used from here so simply click on the world data as soon as you will click on the world data you will be able to see countries and their covid 19 cases here so if you just want to check the cases in usa then here you can see guys there are 5 lakhs 33,115 cases in usa out of which 20,580 patient has been died and 30,502 patients has been recovered so this is how we can actually convert a raspberry pi into this covid 19 tracker i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video then give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos and if you want to learn programming in java or spring or hibernate then let me know in the comment section below i will be happy to help you guys thanks for watching this video guys i will see you in the next one